Hi again. Here we are to continue talking about the Weather app and uh, checking for errors. And in the last video, we checked for the you know NS HTTP URL response, right? And uh, we got the, the the status code from it, right? Now this is going to be the response from the server, right? For the actual request, right? With Open Weather Map, it turns out that they're going to give us another status code based on the weather data that's returned, right? So, you know, in other words, like we can, the response from the server for the, for the, the URL request could be fine, but our request for asking, you know, for the, for the weather data might fail or might have a, a problem separate, right? So we might get, you know, get a response like where we successfully communicated with the server, but the actual data that's returned from the server, the server knows that, you know, it couldn't find a city or, you know, this, this, the city didn't exist or something like that, right? So, um, so we need to check for that separately, okay? So, you know, in order to kind of understand this, what we want to do is we want to put this line here, um, let JSON equal, you know, JSON data, you know, and then we're going to get the data from, from our, our NS data up here, right? Okay. And then we'd like to print the JSON object into the console. Okay. And we should already have this from the previous examples, right? So that already exists there. And then if I, if I test here, and we're going to be looking at this JSON data here. Um, you know, if I set the city and I type in, um, how about Ohio, right? And then, uh, like it says something went wrong. You know, I, I forgot to put the, um, I forgot to put my, my um, API ID in there. Let me put that back. Okay, so we'll test it one more time. We'll type in, you know, Ohio. And hit return. And then you can see this is the JSON data that's returned, right? So all this stuff, right? And one of the um, properties here, and it's at the top level, it's called uh, COD, right? So this is our status code for the, the data that's returned, okay? And you can follow this on Open Weather Map if you go to their API. And we'll, we're using the current weather data. And if I scroll down a ways here, we'll see, um, you know, JSON. This is, I'm looking at the JSON example, right? And if I look, these are the, the, the codes explained or the JSON properties explained, right? And at the bottom, it says COD is an internal parameter, but this is actually the status code for what they return, or at least that's what it seems like to me, right? Okay, so that's the value that we're getting, right? Um, and like I said earlier, you'll notice that, that it returns an integer for 200, and 200 means um, that's a status code that means that, you know, the, the request was okay. Right, so we requested Ohio, and that was, you know, perfectly valid. It found the city name or a state or something with that name, and so it gave us weather for that, right? Um, let me go back now. Let's try another one. This time I'm going to tap here, and then I'll leave the city blank, and it can't really work with that. So if I click OK, it gives me an error, right? You won't see that error message there, but what we'll see is we'll see an error here in the... Um, in the console, right? And so this time you can see that the HTTP response gave us a 200 because the transaction was perfectly valid, but the JSON object that was returned has this COD code and it's a 404. And what's important to note here is that this 404 is a string and not a integer like we had earlier, okay? Um, let me find the other one here. It's in here somewhere. Oh yeah, there it is, right? So you can see this one is 200 without the quotation marks, and this one is 404 with quotation marks, right? So what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to add this block here. And what I did is I, I made a variable called status, and I just set it equal to zero, okay? Um, and because I wanna use this down below here, but I, I need to, you know, figure out what the status code is, and if it's a string, I need to convert it to the integer value, right? So I'm going to say if let COD 
equal uh, json cod dot int. Okay, so in this case, we'd be looking for the cod property here when it's in an integer. Okay, so in this case, like if it was a 200 like this, it would find this property and then it would say like, okay, let's convert it to an int. Is it type int? Yeah, it's an int. So, so cod would be 200 and then we would take the cod and put it into status, right? Which is also an int, okay? Um, if we made a request and the cod property here was in the quotation marks, right? Then, then it's a string, in which case this part would fail because this is not a, an integer, okay? Like this is asking for an int and this is a string. So, so this fails. So, so we end up on the else statement here and we'll do a let cod, right? So if let cod, json cod dot string. So in this case, you know, it is a string so this time COD is a string with the numbers 404 in it, right? And what I want to do is I want to convert that into an integer. So I'll just use the int method here and uh, put COD in there and it'll try and convert that into an integer and hopefully that's going to work correctly. We'll put, we'll just force unwrap it here and then put it into status. Okay, so now, you know, from here we started with status of zero. We've already got our JSON object. And if once we get past this if statement, status should be an integer value with the value from this property in the JSON file, right? Or the JSON data, okay? And then we'll work from there, right? But that's, that's what we need to do. We need to check it here and we need to, you know, it's a little awkward, but it's just the way that their service is returning the data. Like this, in this case, it's a string, and in the other case, it's an integer. So we have to do this little dance here to check for an int, and if that isn't there, check for the string, right? But, but anyway, once our code gets through here, then we've got the status as an integer, and then from there, we can, we can you know, make decisions based on the value of status, right? Okay, so thanks for watching, and I hope that um, helps you out there. And, uh, and then we'll continue this and complete this in the next video or two, right? So thanks for watching.